But it's some people that can't like own their shit and um Sleepy says that Sleepy Hollow says that everyone in his generation has mental issues. So and he said that in an interview he had which I think was deep, and I think that was nice of him to even take a note and even highlight that. Because mm-hmm. niggas don't be owning their shit when they a little off. Oh, my gosh. That's, like, she, why would you say that? Because niggas don't be owning their shit when they off. They'll make the world seem like it, the world's out against them when it's like. The no. world is out to get them. That's why they're off. What are you talking about? Yeah, but you got also got to take accountability for shit, too. Like what? Yeah. Why is it that a 16-year-old is depressed? In what I world mean, does that make sense? Bro, it's like they could be depressed on family shit. Like you can't you can't pick what how your family circumstances are. Yeah, but that's a reason to be sad. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not talking like for like 16 years. I'm talking like for old grown ass people. Trauma is trauma. You cannot put well, an age on people, trauma. He's saying people in his age bracket, right? I'm talking about grown ass people. My bad. He, if you're grown, arguably the, over the age of 21, he, he's right. First of all, he's shout right. out I'm to him for making that statement and like, like saying that. I feel like his music definitely reflects that. So it's good to see, you know that. Do you think this is a publicity spot? Oh my gosh, no, I do not. <laughs> I think that he was very serious, I and I it. think that I have to ask the world. It's so to. sad that you even have to ask that though. That even a, a rapper talking about mental health, you're like, is he about to drop a therapist line? Like, <laughs> he's probably dead serious. I feel like he's serious. No, I know he's dead ass. I'm not saying he's not dead ass. I'm just saying like Roddy Rich said it too though. He said that um, he was like, you know, I paid thousands. For like vacations and stuff And he was like None of that stuff helps Like He was like None of it I agree with him But I think he's right I think that With like Technological advances And in, in, in our generation Just being a little more innovative We kind of created A lot of problems for ourselves Really early in life too Really early Like there are kids That are 14, 15 You know On Instagram Trying to be Jada Wada. and Jada and Jada you know thinking that little baby is like Man, we don't got our you know, influencers like, don't really right. help like those people are great they're definitely showing that there's a way to capitalize off of um, social media but it doesn't always show the grind or the hustle or the fact that they or are the bad shit. or they're grown too like they're not 14 and 15 those are 23 and 24 and 27 year old people so um yeah, I think there's a lot of elements that make that statement true. But you know G Herbo did, um, like, he has a PTSD campaign mm-hmm. where he, like, offered, like, it's a therapy service. And because growing up in Chicago, you know, yeah, you have PTSD. Up. And he named an album after that. And I think he's a perfect example of artists taking a stance. Like, it's deeper than making music. Like, providing resources and giving back to your community Yeah, is what's going to... Break that cycle Yeah I feel like If you're a fan of Sleepy Hollow And him saying this Is like no surprise Like right. you know Like His music is mm-hmm. Gets It gets people through it People right. fuck with his shit So it's yeah. like um, I'm not surprised That he said this I think that um, Yeah I think It needs to be said Yeah I His mean, music is really I mean people deep. act like You know New York is such a Tough ass Skin mm-hmm. Ass city So like yeah, this nigga saying yeah, I'm from New York and yeah, we all got fucking problems. Yeah. So But yeah, we talked yeah. about that. Like they literally call New York City the concrete jungle. Like concrete jungle is crazy. Concrete is hard. <laughs> exactly <laughs> is what I'm saying. Just the elements and the way our city set up and all that stuff. Like even I know people that are not from New York, the first thing they talk about is our transit system. They be like, yo, y'all be just looking like Little robots walking through Like you can't walk too slow People gonna push you Like it's no good morning It's no thank you when the, Like you know what I'm saying So it's a lot That just I don't know That's sad though I mean Shout out to him for bringing awareness I'm not trying to make it like a thing But shout He's out bringing to awareness And he was helping He was doing both 
Helping in the sense of his music was getting helping. I just want to normalize it. That's my biggest thing. What do you mean? I I don't think that it's normalized for artists to be sad. Like they're still human, and I think that even down to like Juice World, like you have to think we lost people like Whitney Houston and, and DMX, God rest their souls, to drugs. Like mm-hmm. these are overdoses, and and we've seen yeah, it even in our generation with Juice World and people like like we we have to normalize people not being okay and offer them help before you know our generation that's grows up and and has that that's facts i agree i agree. thanks bro Psst. Psst.